Donald Trump is to face impeachment charges following a decision by Democratic members of the House of Representatives. They allege that the president has abused his power by trying to force the government of Ukraine to investigate the business dealings of Joe Biden, a potential rival in next year's presidential election. Mr. Trump said Democrats had gone crazy. Our correspondent Nick Bryant is in Washington with the latest for us, Nick. Hugh, one for the history books today. The Democrats have started drafting these articles of impeachment. They're essentially criminal charges against the President of the United States. And the Democrats can use their majority in the House of Representatives to impeach Donald Trump. That would lead to the trial of Donald Trump in the U.S. Senate, where the senators act as jurors and the Republicans are in the majority. On Capitol Hill today, the battle line started being marked out for an epic political fight. A process likely to lead to the trial of Donald Trump, a constitutional spectacle seen only twice before in America's turbulent history. The Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is now ready to move forward with drafting the Articles of Impeachment, a charge sheet in effect accusing the president of high crimes and misdemeanors. Sadly, but with confidence and humility, with allegiance to our founders and a heart full of love, for America. Today, I am asking our chairman to proceed with articles of impeachment. The Democrats have accused Donald Trump of undermining American democracy by trying to get political dirt from the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, on his rival, the former Vice President Joe Biden, using US military aid as an inducement. But Donald Trump arrived home from this week's NATO summit saying the Democrats are crazy and if they're going to impeach him, they should do it fast so the country can get back to business. Are you worried, sir, about the wrong the impeachment might have on your legacy? No, not at all. No, not at all. It's a hoax. It's a hoax. It's a big, fat hoax. Don't you accuse me of anything. It's become an impassioned and polarizing fight, and America's most powerful woman was asked if she hated America's most powerful man. I don't hate anyone. I was raised in a way that is full, a heart full of love and always prayed for the president. And I still pray for the president. I pray for the president all the time. So don't mess with me when it comes to words like that. It's beginning to look a lot like Donald Trump will be impeached by Christmas and start the new year with a trial in the Senate where his Republican allies have the votes to deliver a not guilty verdict. Nick Bryant, BBC News. Washington.